Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be react to um, two Huskers getting caught using a VPN and it's on Call of Shame's, all credit goes to Call of Shame, um, Call of Shame has exposed um, this guy, you guys obviously know who he is, he's in the Call of Duty scene, uh, he's a big big streamer and he's a big big tournament goer and I just wanted to show you guys what Call of Shame has found, but um, yeah, it's just terrible. I know a lot of you guys are fans of Huskers, and if you are, you need to know what a VPN is. A VPN is a device that will locate and find a very low serving population in a, a certain geographic in the world, and it will basically put you into a lobby with very, very low KD, kill to death ratio players. Um, if there isn't enough players, it fills with bots, and you know how bots are super easy in Call of Duty compared to what they should be. They should make these bots super bots and very difficult to take down, but they don't because Call of Duty just want it to be user friendly for everybody uh, in terms of just the bot level. Anyways, let's just go over the video and take a look and uh, I'll react to it. A radar hack? I've never even heard of a radar hack. Well, I was shooting too straight from a van for literally no reason. Listen to people like All got busted for cheating. All these people around in front of you. You recognize them. You, they're cheating. Stay mad, call shame. Stay mad. Unsubscribe from them. Unfollow them. Do yourself a favor. Quit following false idols. Fake, fake streamers. Fake, fake players. I have exposed Huskers many times for using a VPN. Some time ago, I presented evidence. So as you can see in your screen right now, um, what he means by the marks is where the VPNs are linking into. So it's basically where where they're where they're signing in from and where they're signing into. You know, we got Chicago in there. That's right near me. That Huskers used a VPN to connect to Argentina. So he was connecting down at the south of the of the world and in Argentina, and there's a lot less skilled players and there's a lot more bots. So it's a lot easier to get wins. And if you're in a fifty thousand dollar tournament. And you're using a VPN. That's fraud. That is absolutely against the rules of any tournament. Um, I'm surprised he didn't get in trouble, like, going to the police. That's like a digital kind of theft fraud, you know, digital fraud, digital crime, online crime. That's pretty bad, dude. Um, there has to be repercussions for this guy. He just took money from this tournament, even though he didn't get first place. So he got close to it, I, I believe. But there's still first, second, third prizes money as well. So don't, don't forget that. Not everyone... Uh, we'll get money, but first and second definitely do. Uh, I've entered a tournament myself, and I know. <laughs> to play against toddlers before their bath time. He did this many times for his world record claims, then flexed on Twitter with that pathetic rodent smile. I, however, was less impressed and called it out for what it was. Cheating. Yeah, so whenever you see a streamer or a... Mainly a streamer. Um, they're getting high kills, like 50 bomb, 30 bomb, 60 bomb, 80 bomb. Just crazy kills. Always remember that they're most likely using a VPN and they're using aim assisting, aim assisting devices like computer programs to shoot for them, basically. Um, and KDs. So when you go to like um, Call of Duty Tracker or Call of, COD Tracker, whatever it's called, uh, you can see the lobbies that they play in. And you can see an average of all the players in that lobby that he's been playing with is a 0 0.56 KD. Um, which is basically what I was at when I was just jumping off the map, jumping off the map, jumping off the map so that I can spectate people. Remember people when I was doing those videos and my KD dropped down because I was spectating people for video footage? Yeah. Well, basically, he's getting into my lobbies where I'm jumping off maps to, and I'm basically dying and killing myself. Those are the types of players that he's going into. That, you know, that's the type of... Um, games he's going into up against so <laughs> he's an absolute massive cheater man there's no denying it I've known this for a while with so, this Huskers guy we examine the stats we can see some shameful activity is it any wonder yeah see look 0.11 KD why the warzone bedroom streaming community hate me 0.25 KD, 0.24 KD, 0.22 KD. So close to 0 KD. This is the exact reason not why good, I not high. A high KD would be about a 5, a 6. Like, that, that's super high KD. Like, damn. Like, that's... He should be in with those players. Super high KD. Expose this nonsense. 
Again, 0 0.31, 0 0.22, 0 0.33, 0 0.50. Disgraceful. Absolutely disgusting. Out of 150 players, only Huskers and 9 more players had positive kills. The negative stats continued, even dropping to 0.04. Recently he entered a $50,000 tournament, and he couldn't help himself. Yeah, and look at this. It's funny how Nadia is in here. What the hell? j Row, Boss Lady. Breadman's been accused of cheating. Nadia's been accused of cheating. j yo has been accused of cheating. z Lane has been accused of cheating. Destroy's been accused of cheating as well. Um, Jukies has been... Accused of cheating. Scummin has been accused of cheating. Mutex has been accused of cheating. Huskers has obviously right now been accused of cheating and, and has been in the past. Super Evan has been accused of cheating because I see his 50-60 bombs look super susp. DS Biffle has been definitely accused of cheating. FIFA Kill has been accused of cheating. Aiden has been accused of cheating. And I'm not really sure who the rest of the people are. Okay. ...to use VPN to get into bot lobbies. It troubles me greatly how he is allowed to deliberately break the skill-based matchmaking during a tournament like this. This is the same guy who jumps off the map mid-tournament, assuming he could somehow make it to the ground. Yeah, this guy, like, basically caused people brain dead if they follow Call of Shame or if they, you know, go against his Huskers words. But look what he just does in this. In oh, Fortune's God. Keep. Look, Bro, his buddy jumps off the map and look what he does. That, that was a fucking... Thing. So much for playing eight hours a day. Why would he do that? Week. All that nonsense you like to feed the community. While Joe Wo was killing Aiden, the little children from the Middle East were not happy at all with the mighty Huskers. Ironically, it was the notorious Warzone cheater Diaz Biffle who called out Huskers it for using a VPN in the tournament. Ate it. What the? The. No, there's one bag. No, well, I ate it. I ate it. I don't like anything else. Yeah. Anyway, I'm making a video right now. Other games such as Bungie's. So I must uh, I must admit that Bun Bungie, when I played Destiny One and Destiny Two, I never had any issues with the um the cheating stuff. Like in terms of the locking on and you know the walls and stuff. I I never really had an issue with people in in there. And I never got booted from Destiny 2, and I never used anything, obviously, so. But, we'll ban you I'm just saying, like, I never had an issue so with, like, my teammates getting kicked for, for using something, and, think about using or anything, VPN like, I never, no issues. Matchmaking. Let's be clear, a VPN is cheating. Ignore any streamers that tell you otherwise. Yeah, a VPN is clearly cheating people. Um, it's not just for security reasons, it's for finding easy lobbies, so that makes you look like you're a god to the game when you're really not. You're just going up against absolute noobs, amateurs that don't even know how to play the game pretty much. So <laughs> it's a massive form of cheating and it's not right. If you hear anything about it, VPN on someone's stream, they're using cheats to make it to deceive you guys. Do not donate to these people. Give them nothing. They are fraud. They are fraudulent people. Fortnite also have the same policy. Huskers did not appreciate my claims, and he was not a happy rat. What more do you want from me, bro? It says here, replying to average Joe Wo. Nope, nope, nope. If I use a VPN in any scenario, I think it's scummy. Especially since I don't think there's a way to prove if someone is using it in a tournament. Of course there is. You look at the KD lobby, man. If the KDs are super low and you're a super high KD, it's obvious. It doesn't take a brain surgeon to figure this shit out. I'm just so tired of these 30 IQ brain dead idiots who... 30 QID? 30, 30 IQ? Coming from the guy that jumped off the Fortune's Keep into the water and died knowing that damn well that there's no path there? Get the hell out of here, Huskers. Listen to people like Call of Shame. Shut up. We got you. Game over. Alright, so yeah, that's the video. I just wanted to go over it with you guys just to give my opinions and my reactions. Um, I think what Call of Shame is doing has been great from day one. I've been following him since his first video dropped. And I just want to put out a massive thank you for what you've done, man, for the community. You really expose a lot of cheaters and hackers. And I, th I think it's, it's doing really well. It's really getting to the right people. And hopefully some big changes are coming for 2023. I hope so, man. I hope so. Because Warzone 2, I'm excited to play it with my friends. 
and my subscribers, my members, but I'm not excited to play with a bunch of cheaters. I want them out the game. Get them out, all of them. I don't care if they're popular, if they've got millions of subscribers, if they, they, you know, they got trillions of money, of, of, of money. I don't care about any of that stuff. I just want good, honest, fair players to play up against and play with, you know, and just have a fun, good time. That's all I want, man. That's what most people want. All right, people, thank you for subscribing to the channel if you're new. And thank you for liking this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, people. Peace out.